Previously on the show with Mary. You had this fun thing. This this would be on the I'm really excited to go to the bathroom door. <laughs> I have a confession to make. I'm afraid. To quote my favorite YouTube video, I'm afraid of ghosts and sheets with holes in them and regular sheets. And to make it even better, according to internet quizzes, I too am a Hufflepuff. Next week I turn 25. The big 25? Lordy lordy look who's 25? I don't think people take out small town newspaper ads with catchy phrases for this birthday. I'm afraid I haven't done anything. Taylor Swift is 23 and she's selling records left and right. There's even a radio station up in Fargo that only plays her songs. She's a big deal. Veronica Roth is 25 and her book Allegiant came out this month the third installment of the Divergent series, which is being made into a movie, and it should be awesome. Jennifer Lawrence is 23, and she's won an Oscar. She's an amazing actress, and I've only seen two of her performances. Harry Potter was 17 when he defeated the Dark Lord, and saved the Wizarding World as we know it. I know 25 isn't old, but I thought it would be different. It was New Year's Eve about 11 months ago, and as I reached into the fridge to get some milk to go with my cookies, I realized I would turn 25 this year. And now, here I am, drinking milk with my brownies, still slightly freaking out. I know you're not supposed to compare yourself to other people. We're all unique in snowflakes. But it's hard when younger and younger people are doing amazing things, like Kid President and his pep talk. So as I turn 25, I'm going to promise myself that I will work to make the world awesome. I won't hold on tightly to regrets, but I will reach out to grasp new goals, and hopefully I won't cut my hand up too bad. I'm a Hufflepuff, after all.